Hello, my friends. What's up? It's your buddy Phil here. I hope you're doing good. This is a really scrappy video to address a student question. The questions are multiple questions, and I just want to address it here really, really quick. So this student says, page 38 in the PMBOK guide, how specialized knowledge is EEF? Well, think about it. Knowledge is not an organizational process asset, so it has to be a factor that influences commercial databases. They're not yours, so they're not assets. Academic research is not yours, so it's not an asset. It's a factor. Anything that is not yours is not an asset to you. And remember, when we talk about assets, we're not just talking about assets in the sense of infrastructure. We're talking about process assets. So the word process comes before asset. A process asset is a piece of documentation that encapsulates a process or procedure or a guideline and at the same time an organizational process asset could be historical information information stored in a database that belongs to you that's what makes it an organizational process asset so if it doesn't fall into any of these buckets then it's not an asset it's a factor so, specialized knowledge is a factor. Commercial databases, they're not yours, it's a factor. Academic research, it's not yours, it's a factor. Collaboration agreements, think about it. Collaboration agreements, agreeing to do something with someone, it's not an asset. We're not talking about the contract. We're talking about the concept of agreement. The people you're connected to, it's a factor. You get what I'm saying? Okay. The next question from the same student says, again, we know infrastructure is an EEF. While page 41, PMBOK guide, communication technology is an OPA. I don't know where you're seeing communication technology as an OPA. Communication technology is a tool and technique. Okay? you got to think about the technology as a tool and technique to use but in the sense of what it stores for you, right? The information in the database, that is the asset, not the technology itself. So I'm going to the PMBOK guide to investigate what you have called out. And you said page 41. Page 41 is the early stages in the PMBOK guide where it begins to talk about EEFs and OPAs. So when you see communication technology mentioned, it is important that you think about the information inside it. Because we know that technology is not an asset, as you rightfully mentioned. So when you see something like this, you really need to be thinking about the information inside. Does that make sense? So let's go to page 41, as this student has requested. And let's see what's here. All right. So on page 41 of the PMBOK Guide 6th edition, under organizational systems, or under organizational process assets, the specific bullet that is being referred to, organizational knowledge repositories, configuration management knowledge repositories containing the versions of software and hardware components. You see, it's, it's not the repositories but it's really what is inside it, the versions of software and hardware components. The same thing for financial data repositories. It's not the repository, it is the information in the repository. Historical information speaks for itself, right? Issue and defect management data repositories, we're talking about the information. I think this is where you're missing it. You're thinking about the repository instead of the information in the repository. Am I making sense? Let's go to the upper part of page 41 that this student referred to. So it says organizational communication requirements. 
come on. You should have caught this. I think what you're doing is you're mixing what is in the repository with the repository itself. So the third bullet from the top of the page is what I believe this student is referring to. It says organizational communication requirements. And then it says example, specific communication technology available. Do you see that? Specific technology available. Specific communication technology available. And then it says authorized communication media. But it's not these things. It is the requirements, organizational communication requirements. That's part of the process that you need to follow. So it's part of the process assets, the communication requirements, not these things they're mentioning, not video conferencing, not collaborative tools, not security, not communication technology. No, but the requirements for communications. Does that make sense? So I think you're mixing up you're mixing up the PMBOK guide in putting the cart before the horse. You're putting the technology before the information. No, it's the information that's the process asset. The information. Okay? Am I making sense? Read the PMBOK guide introspectively. Go deep. Just know that thousands, millions of people are certified, but thousands have gone before you. Use the book. Therefore, when you read it, you need to be reading with an intent to understand. Don't get frustrated with the book, but you need to read introspectively and search for the answers. As you have, you've sent me the question, but don't get frustrated with it because I sense some frustration. You just need to know this stuff has been studied by others. It's been used. It passed the exam. You're going to do the same. One thing I would advise you to do, if this is a major struggle for anyone across the board. Maybe you're reading the PMBOK guide. It's not making sense. You need to be in my training. There's only so much I can do on YouTube. So I took out of my busy schedule to create this video. But actually, this is something you should come to me for coaching for. Because I cannot create videos for thousands of people that have questions. But if you came to my course, I can coach, train, mentor you, help you navigate the PMBOK guide. Okay? But I cannot do this for every single question that comes in, especially when they're multiple. So this was like a 10 line long question. While I'm happy to do it, I cannot do this each and every time. And that's why for some of the questions, you're just going to have to come for my coaching and training. All right. So go on down to pmsucceed.com. Sign up. It's worth the investment. Sign up. Get professional help. I'll help you navigate this thing. We'll do it. We'll win. And a story, you go to the next phase, next level in life, all right? I look forward to seeing you, pmsucceed.com. Go there, sign up.